Hi everybody and welcome to Heal Heat. My name is George Coles and on this episode we're doing a little bit of trivia. This one's going to kind of be in the vein of Family Feud and for that I have my own personal Steve Harvey, my brother, the commissioner of Heal Heat, Frank. Say hello Frank. Hello. What we're going to do is much like Family Feud I'm going to try and guess what people have rated things. These lists come to us from Ranker. Is that right, Frank? Yep. Hold the top five from Ranker. So I'm going to do the top five of each list from Ranker. I'm going to have three wrong, just like Family Feud. If you everybody's seen Family Feud, so you know the rules. With that being said, let's start off. What's the first list? The very first list we got here is the best WWE heels ever. The best WWE heels ever. Yes. So I got to think with. Five. Okay. So I have to think with Ranker, it's going to be popularity, and I'm going to say a lot of it's probably going to lean on the Attitude Era. Uh, give me Vince McMahon. No. So uh, that's my first X. And when I say them, let me know what number I have. Okay, yeah, I figured that. Uh, Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper is on that. He is number five. He's number five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um... Shawn Michaels? Uh, so two are... I'm doing terrible already. Alright, so I gotta think heels and all-time heels. Randy Orton. Ding, ding, ding. Number four. So I got five and four. So Orton... Five and four. <laughs> Orton and... Orton and Piper. Randy Savage? Uh, I failed out that one. Uh, well, the number one was Mr. McMahon. I said Vince McMahon. No, you didn't. That was the first thing I said. Did you? Yes. Oh. So that means I get another shot. You get another shot. Okay. I, I, so I have two and three. I'm a little under the weather, so you guys are going to have to forgive me. <laughs> so I have two and three left. Two and three left, yes. Okay. So I got Mr. McMahon. Triple H? Yep, yep. Ding. What number is he? Two. Two, so I'm missing three. I got Triple H, Vince, uh, Orton, and Piper. Mm -hmm. So I have to find Ric Flair? Yep. There you go. You got all five. There you go. How is Ric Flair in there? I don't know. He's not really a WWE heel. So, okay, I got the first list, even though the commission... I, I messed up a little bit. My bad. <laughs> all right, so what's the second list? The second list is... The best WWE Funko Pop collectibles. The best WWE Funko Pop collectibles. Collectibles, yeah. So I I probably should have most of these. I'm going to say with Funko Pops, it's more about design. Give me Finn Balor, a.k.a. The Demon. Yep, that's number three. Ding. Uh, give me Bray Wyatt, a.k.a. The Fiend. Uh, yep, that's number four. Ding. How about Alexa Bliss? Uh, Alright, so that's one wrong. I'm trying to think who's popular that's had a Funko Pops. Give me the Hardy Boys? Ding! Number two. Number two, okay. So I have number one and number, number five. five. Yep. Randy Savage? Uh, Alright, so that's my first X. Um, trying to think. Mick Foley or Mankind? Arr. That's my second X. Okay. <laughs> Sound advice. <laughs> uh, Bret Hart. Ding, ding, ding. That's number one. Really? I was actually thinking he would have been number five. Uh, oh, Undertaker. Uh-huh. That's the last one. Yes, but... But what? I'll give it to you. Undertaker hooded. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's probably just the designation. Yeah. So it makes sense with Funko Pops it's all aesthetic. Although Bret Hart doesn't fit the aesthetic. Uh huh. Right. Like... So I got all five of the first two. That one I only got one wrong, right? Right. Sweet. What's the next list? The best wrestlers who have signed with AEW. Okay, so the best wrestlers that have signed with AEW. Give me Kenny Omega. 
Kenny Omega, ding, number three. Number three for Kenny Omega. Um, give me John Moxley. Ding, number two. How about, and I know he's in a lot of trouble right now, Chris Jericho. Ding, number one. Jericho's number one. Yeah, makes sense. Um, all right, so we got the top three. Mm-hmm. Four or five left. Christian Cage. Arr, that's your first X. All right. The Young Bucks. Arr, that's your second one. Wow. Young Bucks aren't on there. Brody Lee. Ding, number four. So I'm only missing number five. Miro? Nope. Oh, so uh, I struck out on that one. Cody Rhodes. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense. All right, so that was the first list I got wrong. Or yep. did I miss any? Yeah, you, the first list you, you, you flunked out on, so to speak. All right, our next list is the best ECW wrestlers of all time. This one I should hit a home run on. All right. So based on popularity, give me Rob Van Dam. Ding, number one. Yeah, I figured that because it isn't necessarily ECW fans that are voting this. Right, right. Um, give me Sabu. Ding, number two. Are you going to get him in order? <laughs> Maybe. Give me Shane Douglas. No. Unless, what's does he have a different name? Just the like franchise Shane Douglas? No, okay, no. Really? So the franchise is not there. So that's, that's my first X. <laughs> uh, I know he wasn't there long, and I wouldn't put him as my top ECW wrestler, although he's my favorite wrestler of all time. Give me Cactus Jack. That's number three. So yeah. when you're, the ones you're getting right, you're actually getting more. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to figure like what wrestling fans as a general would think. I want to say Dreamer, but I don't think he's on there, and I don't want to wa waste a strike. Do you, me, do, you, do you want to say Dreamer or no? I'm going to hold off on Dreamer until maybe I need him. Okay. Uh, Terry Funk. Uh, that's two. Two strikes, and I got... All right, so I got Cactus, Rob Van Dam, Sabu. See, what I'm thinking is either it's between Sandman, Dreamer, or Taz. And I know... One of them has to be on there. Show me Taz. Arr, sorry, you flunked out on this one. Is Dreamer on there? Dreamer is on there. He's number five. Uh, Raven is the other one you missed. Oh, well, Raven would have came up too eventually. But <laughs> I was trying to think of more outside right, wrestling right. fans. I got you, I got you. All right, our last list is the best tag teams in WCW history. So best tag teams of WCW. So I got two lists I completed, and, and two, two that you flunked out on. So this is a for all the marbles of the of the ranker list of WECW WCW wrestler family feud s kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you said this is WCW tag. Team. WCW history, yes. Give me Harlem Heat. That is number three. Ding. Show me the Steiner brothers. Ding number two. So if we have Harlem Heat and the Steiner Brothers, we have to have the Outsiders. Ding, number four. You have one in five left. One in five? There's... Show me the Road Warriors, a.k.a. the Legion of Doom. Ding, that's number one. You just have number five left, which might be harder or not. We'll see. So Road Warriors, <laughs> Steiners, Legion of Doom. And who else? Like, oh, the Outsiders. <sighs> Sting and Luger? Uh, All right, Hollywood Blondes. Uh, really? Oh, down to the wire on this one. So Hollywood Blondes weren't on there. That's interesting. Unless these are the Hollywood Blondes. Is know. it Austin and Pillman? No. Okay. Because it's it's. I'll be. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's their. I name. don't. I don't want to hint. Okay. All right, so maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking too late in WCW. Let's think early WCW. It's probably not going to be the Midnight Express because they would have been more NWA. It's not going to be a Rock and Roll Express. They would have been more NWA. Think of very early WCW. Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. Ding 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 ding! You win. Are you for real? They you got, got it there? right. Yeah, that was the number five. I don't even. I'm trying to think. Were they even <laughs> WCW or so? So out of our 
out of our five lists, you you beat three of them, basically. Okay. So well, that's not bad. Yeah. You don't lose your wrestling cred. <laughs> I mean, I did. I didn't do as good as I thought I might, but again, it's rank or it's yeah, based yeah, it's, off. It's based off internet clout, not not so much within yeah, the not, community. So anybody could vote on these, all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. But okay, I mean, I think I did pretty well. If you'd like to see us do another Family Feud type version of this, let me know down here in the comments. Can you tell Why, us the, the suggested list, maybe. You know. Maybe yeah. If you have ranker lists or a different place where we could find lists that people vote on, so it's kind of like Family Feud, um, let us know. While you're down there in the comments, smash the like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit the join button, all that fun stuff that everybody says. With all that being said, my name is George Coles, and this is Frank, and you've been watching Heal Heat. Bye.